and welcome to this episode of Letting Go and the Greatest Secret. I hope you've been enjoying my conversations with the other teachers in the secret and the greatest secret and other thought leaders in this direction. In this episode, I'll be sharing just a little bit about how we explore this at Sedona Training Associates, how we explore the truth of who or what we are. And we're gonna start with exploring something that is a core part of many of the teachers in The Greatest Secret. And that is that what you are and what I am is the same thing, is that pure presence of awareness or beingness or isness that all is. Most of the time we experience life as though we are a person in a body, in a world that's separate from us. We experience the world and life as a person who's in, or self that's separate from all else. And this is a very contracted way to experience life. It's a very limited way to experience life. Yet it's what most of us think is natural or normal. And yes, it is normal, it is average, but in my experience, it's not natural. What's natural is to live life wide open, at rest, at ease, as that presence of awareness or beingness that you are. And the good news is you don't need to take my word for it or any other teacher's word for it because it's something that you can explore from your own direct experience. If you think about any experience, we usually focus on experiences based on what is different from experience to experience. We see different things. We hear different things. We feel different things. But the hearing, the seeing, the feeling is the same. It's coming from the same thing, that presence of awareness or beingness that we are. It's at the core of every experience. For most of us, our thoughts, our feelings, our beliefs, our ideas are very much, uh, very much mixed up in this awareness. Yet we can see through that. We can discover that we're not our thoughts, we're not our feelings, we're not our perceptions. We are that which makes it all possible. Without awareness, there would be no thoughts, no feelings, no experiences, nothing for us to talk about. Yet, if I ask you, are you, the answer is, of course, yes. Even if you answered, no, I'm not, that still affirms that you are. And that are, that we all are, or that thing that is, all of us, is actually the same in each and every one of us. If you look into your direct experience, past whatever is happening on the surface, there is something that's the same. If you look through your life, you'll, you can discover from your own direct experience that there is something that's the same. If you really look in this moment, you think you're the same person, but the person changes, doesn't it? You think you're the same body, but the body changes. You don't have 
a body that looks the same as you did when you were five or 10 or 20 or even a moment ago. Those 50 trillion or so selves are, are changing and living and dying and transforming all the time. So the phenomena changes, but at the heart of it is this presence of awareness that if you pay more attention to, it goes from being in the background to being in the foreground. And to eventually, you can allow yourself to live life as awareness, as opposed to live life looking for awareness or looking for happiness or truth outside of yourself. And the fact that you're listening to this means that you're open to this. You're, you've probably already been experimenting with this, looking for this, going to different teachers who point to this. And that really is all part of the harmony. It feels like you're doing it. But as you keep letting go and discovering the truth of who you are, you can discover from your own direct living experience that this is all just a natural unfolding. It's natural to pretend that you're a separate person and it's natural at some point to discover that you're not. And the you that I'm referring to here is not the separate individual. The you that I'm referring to here is that beingness or that isness. A lot of times it feels to us like we're a human being looking to get what we want more of in life and less of what we don't want and also one of the things we want more of is happiness and peace and joy. And what we want less of is suffering. But the key to that, in addition to letting go, which is one of our key teachings, is to discover that presence of awareness or beingness that you are from your own direct experience is actually who you are. What if, just what if, you're that one awareness having a human experience instead of a human trying to gain something more than itself? And again, with any teacher, it's important not to believe a word they say but to be open to what they're pointing to, to see if it resonates with you or not. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. But if it does, be open to it. See where it leads you. So let's do an exploration together so that this can start being your living experience. And on our, in our programs, what we do is we try to make everything as experiential as possible. So rather than me talking about it more, although talking about this actually pulls you into the experience, I also like to give perspective or experiments or tools or tips or techniques that you can use to explore this further on your own. And one of them is a simple question that many of the teachers use some version of, which is, are you that, or are you that which is aware? In Rhonda Byrne's wonderful book, The Greatest Secret, she uses the question, are you that, or are you that which is aware of it? which is also 
pointing at exactly the same thing. But how I express it or how it gets expressed through this body mind is, are you that or are you that which is aware? So let's start exploring that with that question and then we'll take it even further than that. You'll see as we do it together. So in this moment, could you just simply pause the mind or stop for a moment? And notice what is. And or just simply be what you are. <laughs> and by the way, that's enough. If you would just do that from time to time, many things would reveal themselves to you. But let's take it even further. Now, in this moment, allow yourself to focus on something that you believe you are apart from awareness itself. Some thought, some feeling, the body, the mind, some problem that you believe you have. It is a very effective way at viewing problems and transforming your perspective about them. So allow yourself to focus on whatever it is that's pulling at your awareness. That seems to be a contraction. And then could you allow yourself to check from your own direct experience, are you actually whatever that is? Or are you that which is aware of it? Look with your heart as opposed to your mind as best you can. Now, if you were able to, you probably feel a little more spacious inside, a little more open, a little more aware of the awareness that you are. But let's just go a little further. Whatever you're perceiving yourself to be in this moment, just simply check. Are you that? Or are you that which is aware of it? And again, that time it may have been more obvious or you may feel that sense of spaciousness or ease or acceptance or even love is more present, more obvious to itself. But again, whatever you're perceiving yourself to be in this moment, could you just simply check? Are you that? Or are you that which is aware of it? And then just simply pay attention to or notice or be present with whatever that reveals as you ask that question. Now this question by itself, if you keep exploring it, will really set you free from all sorts of limitations that you've been struggling with. And it will help you see that you are beyond that, which appears to be limited. Now, when you start to recognize this truth more and more, you could continue this exploration. So here's one of the ways you can continue it. You can just si simply give yourself permission 
to rest as or abide as or relax as that awareness. So let's do that for a moment. Could you just simply rest as or abide as or see from that awareness that you are. Now, the more you do this, the more natural it feels the more you recognize that you are actually the awareness, not the contents of awareness. Yet you can go further than that too. In this moment, check to see if you can actually find any boundaries to this awareness that you are. If you look into your direct experience. Does awareness actually have a beginning, a middle or an end? That you can actually find in your own direct experience? Or is that awareness that you are boundless. As you explore this, you can discover that that awareness that you are has no boundaries. It doesn't end at your skin. And as you feel into this, you'll start to see more and more, feel more and more, or experience more and more that all things, including the thing of the person you often believe you are in the body and the mind and the world are appearing in or on this awareness that you are. They're not separate from it. They're the same. Again, don't take my word for it. Just see if you can stay open to that, at least as a possibility. And then see if you can take this even further. Allow yourself to focus on any sensation or any picture or any sound, any object. And for a moment, if there are any labels you have on it, let them drop away. And check to see if that too is that one awareness that you are. What if, just what if, all apparent objects are merely that same one awareness or knowingness? that is at the heart of experiencing. So focus on another object, doesn't matter what it is. And could you just allow whatever label you have of that object fade into the background a little?
and see, is that an object? Or is that awareness as well? The same awareness that you are. Let's do that one more time together. Allow yourself to focus on anything that appears to be separate from that one awareness that all is. And check, is that actually separate? Or is that awareness as well? If you really look with an open mind and heart, you'll start to view it as awareness, as what you are. And as you live your life more and more from this perspective, you'll find that it radically transforms all that you experience. Suffering and limitation cannot abide in the light, that self-radiant light, that you shine as that awareness. So I highly encourage you to explore this for yourself. Allow yourself to keep checking First start by checking, are you that or are you that which is where? There's a discernment that needs to happen first so you're not lost in phenomena. But once you start to see that you are that awareness, you can keep going deeper, abiding as it more and more, seeing the world and the body and all as that. So that's just a little bit of the type of work that we do in our programs. We also work from the perspective of being a person because that's where a lot of us start out and we help you deal with life from that perspective by letting go of all that appears to be holding you back. But when you're ready for it, you can go beyond that and find the true end to fear and suffering and limitation. So I invite you to explore this further. And thank you so much for listening to this episode of letting go and the greatest secret. There will be many more to follow from my friends and fellow teachers in the secret and the greatest secret and many other wonderful thought leaders. So thank you for listening. That's all for now. Mm -hmm.